All right, today's topic, eighth graders, is equation with two variables. Uh, so you know the procedure, get out your pencil, paper, composition book, whatever you do to take your notes, iPad, something like that. Um, so yeah, the topic's equation with two variables. So notice right down here below, uh, below the topic, it says x plus five is, or uh, x plus y is five. Above it, we have negative three x equals y plus two, as well as another equation with two variables, two x minus y equals three. Um, so we're gonna just talk about, first of all, solutions to these equations. So when you look at this equation, x plus y equals five, there's lots of solutions, there are. I mean, you could list an order pair like zero and five, and the question would be, would that work? Is that a solution? Well, remember the first uh, number in the order pair is the x coordinate or x so this would be zero and then the second number in the order pair would be the y coordinate or y so is this a true statement is zero plus five five yeah i know okay so yeah, that's what we're just doing here is we're, we're just seeing if these statements are true. Would this work five plus zero? Yes. Could we put in this order pair? Four plus one? Yes. Could we put in this order pair? Three plus two? Yes. Hmm, would this work? Negative three plus eight, remember, when the signs are different, you subtract. When the signs are different, you subtract, okay? So, and that would work as well, because negative three plus eight, you would have negative three plus eight, the signs are different. We would subtract, we get five, and you keep the sign that's furthest away from zero, okay? So yeah, this is not too difficult. We got this, we got this, all right? Um, so here's all I want you to do. Just, uh, it says state yes or no if the order pair is a solution to the equation. So here is the equation, write it down, and then plug this in. And then for number one, you're just either gonna write yes or no. Uh, would this order pair work? If you plug these numbers in, would this be a true statement? Plug this, uh, this pair of numbers in. Would this be a true statement? You're just writing yes or no, right or yes or no, but, but you're gonna copy the equation down to each problem. So press pause, do that and then you're going to do it for this page as well. This equation is a little more complicated. 3x minus 2y equals eight. Again, you're just taking this order pair, plug it in and see if it works for each one. So this is problem three and problem four. Press pause when you get that time and work it out. And then for the last, uh, well, it's not actually the last, but the last two set questions for this particular type of problem, uh, here's the next equation, negative x plus 3y equals 8. Again, plug in these order pairs, uh, state if they are correct or not. You could just say yes or no, correct, no, anything. And then the last thing I want you to do is uh, yesterday, or whenever you're watching this video tutorial, we talked about um, an example of using the coordinate plane. Okay. And we talked about the latitude and longitude lines on the globe, how they flatten out the, the world into like a plane. And then every spot on the world has a latitude, longitude um, coordinate pair or identification. And so I gave one example. Can you give me other examples where you would use or where the coordinate plane is being used? Think about that. See if you can think of some real life um, examples of using the corner plane. Hope you guys enjoyed this video tutorial. I know it's over. That was it. Six to seven minutes long. Have a great day. Bye bye.